everybody welcome back it's me again lucky you <laughs> lucky you I want to tell you a story about the way I used to be in my 20s and 30s and how I was not humble at all I was the least humble person in the world the least caring person in the world I just didn't give a crap didn't give a crap and that was in my 20s and 30s I used to tan every day I'd go to the tanning bed every day, every day, and I would look good. I had a nice, nice tan from head to toe. My chest was beautiful. I love my chest. It was brown. It was pretty. Every day, every day. Maybe not Sundays, but I, I went to the tanning bed every day for probably 10 years. I spent enough money in tanning products and tanning packages that I probably hold please okay sorry about that that was my husband and then my mother called right after that we're making dinner plans for tonight but anyway back to my story I spent so much money in tanning products that I probably could have bought a, two tanning beds maybe three I don't know but I, I did I spent so much money going to putting putting that uh, wanting that self-image that uh, that was ridiculous that now that I look back at it that it was ridiculous now listen my mother would say to me all the time you need to stay out of the tanning bed you're going to get skin cancer and I went yeah okay mom sure Michelle and then I she'd be like where are you where where were you uh, tanning you need to stay out of the tanning bed you're gonna get skin cancer yeah okay mom whatever whatever and then I would just go well guess what guess who got skin cancer guess it here let me show it to you the chest that I really loved this used to be brown and beautiful look at it now see all the see all the sun marks see all the white spots these are all skin cancer spots taken off stay out of the tanning bed people because you're gonna get skin cancer I don't know, stay out of the sun. So now anytime I go out in the sun, I smother myself in sunscreen. And I'm not the tannest person anymore. And that's okay with me. That's okay with me. Because when I was tanning, I just had an attitude. I had an attitude. Not only was I tanning, I, I weighed a size 4. So I'm gonna, I'll put a picture in right here. Now that's what I used to look like. So I wear the size four for 10, 15 years. I was tan and I had an attitude. I had, I had just an attitude. I didn't care, I wasn't humble. I didn't care, I just didn't care. I dressed eh, not the humblest, not the, you know, I just, I didn't care. I didn't care. I'd go around the house all day in my bikini top. We had a swimming pool. So that's all I wore all summer. I would go to the grocery store, put on a pair of overall shorts and go to the, I didn't care. I, I just didn't care. I also would shop. Didn't care. I didn't care. I didn't care what anybody thought. I just didn't. I had, like my husband look at the time was dressed nice. I was dressed nice. My kids were dressed nice. I just didn't care. I didn't care. Oh, this is getting to me. I didn't care what anybody thought anybody I used to have long fingernails I would get my nails done every two weeks every two weeks BAM on the money I was getting my nails done they were long they were pretty I had rings I didn't care I didn't care I was the least humble person in the world I didn't care I can't tell you how many times I can tell you I didn't care that I didn't care you know and that's not a good way to live that is not a good way to live when i was saved things changed things changed you know my husband had left me and things had just changed and i started praying god i want to be humble i, I, I want to be humble i want to care about people now be careful what you pray for let me tell you that because god will take you through it he will take you through it to teach you it. So, I started praying. I want to be humble. So the first thing I thought was, I got rid of my nails. 
I got rid of my nails. Now I'm a nail biter, okay? I've always been a nail biter until just like recently. I don't know. But my nails always looked terrible when I didn't have nails because I would bite them. So the first thing I did was got rid of my nails. I'm like, you know, this isn't making me very humble. This is part of it. This is part of it. That's just part of it. So I, when my nails grew out, fell off, I picked them off, whatever. There, and then I bit them. And they looked freaking terrible. And you know what? I didn't care. I didn't care because I didn't need them in my life anymore. I, that wasn't part of me. I stopped wearing jewelry. I just quit wearing jewelry. In fact, when I got divorced, my ex-husband's mother had given me a, a diamond, tennis brace diamond, and I gave it all back to her. I put it in a baggie, and I gave it all back to her and said, I want you to have this back. Because, for one, I, it wasn't mine. And two, I didn't, I didn't need it in my life. I didn't need it. That's not what I needed to make me happy. So... I, she was surprised that I gave it back to her. I said, no, it doesn't belong to me. And I, I don't need it. I started shopping differently. You know, I started shopping more age appropriate, I guess you want to say. And I didn't wear the short shorts and I changed the way I looked. And then I started eating. I found food. I liked food. I'm like, oh my, I this tastes good now mind you before I used to eat like nothing I would eat nothing I would I just wouldn't eat anything and now I'm gaining weight and I'm thinking I'm okay with that I'm okay with that because if that's what it's gonna take to make me more of a humble person I'm okay with that so now now I've put on a lot of weight, but that's due to medications that I'm on and everything. That's another story. That's another story. But I'm okay with it because you know what? I'm humble. In fact, recently I went off one of my medications and I've really been watching what I'm eating and I've lost 11 pounds. And in losing that 11 pounds in my head, I'm thinking, you know, I would like to lose more. And if it's cap I'm capable of losing more because I can't exercise, you know, I, I can't, I just can't, I can't. It, that causes me so much pain, I can't exercise. But it's like, keep me Here's home. what I found. You know, this is comical because now I didn't say, hey, Google. I don't know. But if it take, in my head, in my head now it's like god keep me humble if i'm gonna lose weight and be able to fit in I found this a on the smaller web. size google is still talking this, what the heck is going on okay we just turned her down i keep me humble keep me humble so i'm okay with it now i'm okay with losing weight now because you know what if i go down to a size I'll never be a size 6 again, but I'll be happy with the 10. You know what? I'm going to be humble with that. I'm going to be so humble with that. My nails. It took me probably two years to go have my nails put on. Because I wanted to be... I, I liked them. But I liked them for a different reason now. I liked them for me. I liked them for me. Not because I wanted to flaunt stuff. I liked them for me. And it took me two years to be able to go back in the nail salon and, and have a set of nails put on. I don't have them on now, but you know what? I didn't know. I'm not biting. This is the first time ever in my life I'm not biting my fingernails. So it's like, I'm going to keep them off. But I stayed humble. I stayed humble with the nails when they were on. You know, and then I started to wear a little bit more jewelry. or a little. I started to wear jewelry, and it's like... I'm doing it for a different reason. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it because I like it. I truly like it. So that's my journey there, being humble. And along the way, I started caring about people. I started, I pray God to help me care about people. And I did. I started truly caring about what other people are going through, what other people need what other I just truly started caring about other people and as that happened I became second 
I became second to everybody else. And I needed that. I needed that. You know, I didn't forget about me and my personal well-being. But it's like, the care that I had for other people was on a new level. And I didn't want to hurt them. I didn't want... I didn't want them to hurt and it was on a new level and God took me through so you know, he took me through stuff to get me to that point but I'm glad I did it I'm glad that I prayed for those I'm glad that God took me through that because it made me the person that I am today you know I'm now this cancer chest ugly I weigh too much and I'm okay with that and you know what? I can't even wear a bra now. I used to go to Victoria's Secrets and all the you know, nice places and have nice bras. In fact, at one point, I thought, I'm going to get breast implants. I'm going to do that because that's what I want. Well, thankfully, I didn't do that because that would have been uh, awful on my back. But it's like, you know what? I can't even wear a bra now. Because of the, where the way the rod is in my back. Nope, can't even wear it now. If I can, it's a sports bra and it's for about two hours and I have to t actually take pain medication to be able to wear a bra. So I haven't worn a bra in like three years and you know what? I'm okay with that. I just find clothes that are like, that you can't tell. But I'm okay with that. I'm a, that, that's all part of me being humble, you know? I don't know. And I don't know if anybody's watching this that was with me in my 20s and 30s, but to every one of you, I apologize. I apologize for not caring, for not hearing you, for not everything. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It, you know, that's not me now. And I know I hurt people. I know I did. I, I know. There's no doubt in my mind. I probably hurt people I didn't even know I hurt. But to everybody out there, sorry. Sorry. I didn't. I did. I, I'm sorry. So, be humble. Be humble and care about people. And if you pray about it, be prepared to go through it. Be prepared to go through it in a learning experience. And it's going to hurt. But on the other side, you'll be a better person. Alright. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.